Mountain Scapers has their very own distinctive style when it comes to all phases of landscaping. Most especially Mountain Scapers way of creating boulder waterfalls, Latia shade structures, dramatic mounting, and the integration of steel and fire into the landscape that is truly extraordinary and exclusively all Mountain Scapers. If the outdoor living environment is a priority to your lifestyle and you want to create something different using your family's function and needs mixed with Mountain Scapers unique style and craftsmanship, this is it. Clutter blocks the flow of positive energy, or chi, through the home. Therefore, discard all unessential belongings and stop accumulating such disquieting items. Yeah, right. Get your house in order with Org Organizing Systems. There's Org for closets, kitchens, even Org for your laundry room and garage. All custom designed and installed. Your chi has never had it so good. Visit GetOrged.com. <laughs> He's believing. Everything looks real on TV. Hey, thanks for staying with us. We appreciate you watching. Coming up next, we have Kitchen Craft. Kitchen Craft is making pizza for kids, so get your recipe books ready because this one you'll want to have fun in the kitchen with your kids. Wonderful pizza. And hey, you can win a Kitchen Craft basic cookware set every month here on the Home and Landscape, the television series. You can call directly 602-485-1691. That's extension 111. You ask for Sebastian, you leave your name and your telephone number. And every month we're giving away a Kitchen Craft basic waterless cookware set. So stay tuned, enjoy pizza with the kids with, with Kitchen Craft, and we appreciate you watching. Good morning, Arizona, and welcome to Cook for Life with Kitchen Craft, the original waterless and greaseless cookware. A hundred years of American-made quality. Do I look a hundred years old? Yeah. Just what I needed to hear. Uh, well, we have from Hollywood today. We have Morgan and Caitlin who have joined us here to help us do the cooking. And what we're going to do is we're going to make pizzas. The coolest, neatest pizzas you ever made. All right, and Caitlin, you're going to go ahead and show them if you would, please, as we get with the rolling pin. And first, the knife, we're going to cut off the crust. You know how kids don't like the crust of bread. Yucky poo, right? Cut off the crust just as she has. And then what do we do with the next? She's going to squash it. Are you going to squash it and smash it and make it really cool? Kids will love this. If you're not cooking with your kids at home, you really should start. We've got some really neat recipes that I think anybody can do. They're going to make kind of a snack pizza. And it's really easy to make because you just take a slice of bread and you smash it. Was that fun? All right, smash another one. We're going to do a whole wheat, and then we're going to do one that's not quite as healthy, but it'll certainly be good. Mm -mm -mm. What kind of pizza are we going to make? Any idea? Pepperoni. You can make any can you want, right? Yeah. It just doesn't matter. All right, I am going to, can I lift the cover? That's all I'm going to do? Can I do that? They're going to let me help today. How kind of them. <laughs> okay, now, what are you going to put in there this time? What is that? Cornmeal? Cornmeal. I thought we were making pizza, not corn dogs. Hot diggity dog. All right, we got a little cornmeal. Now, what do we put next? The bread? No, come on over here and fix it all up, get everything ready to go. Here we go, where we stop, nobody knows. We'll trade places with you for a second. Aha, uh -huh. we're gonna put a little ketchup, we're gonna make a ketchup pizza. Imagine that, of course children don't like ketchup or anything. Then we're going to make a barbecue pizza. Pizza's just for kids. You did a great job, Caitlin, that is excellent. My goodness, I mean, you smashed it well, didn't you? Do you iron your clothes at home too? No, <laughs> okay. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And that one's going to be the ketchup one. And now here comes the barbecue. <laughs> this is going to be really good. And by the way, folks, this really does work. It's great for the kids, grandkids. And you know, of all of our grandparents out there, we know if we could have, we would have had the grandkids first. Of course, we're not going to spoil them. It's not that we wanted to have them first. It's just that we have more time because life is so backwards. Now, what do we do? Miss Morgan. Oh, here comes. What do you got? Oh, that stuff, okay, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. A little Italian seasoning, okay? This is gonna be real pizza. I mean, you know, these guys that come out and deliver, move over. We're gonna cook our pizzas at home from this day forward. And then we're gonna put some pepperoni, is that correct? Caitlin, you tell her what to put. Here we go around the back stretch and we're having way too much fun in the kitchen here. <clears throat> now, by the way, if you wanna put uh, corn dogs on there, if you wanna put peanut butter and jelly pizzas, we don't care, whatever you wanna put on a pizza is good, right, Mom? That's right, okay. Here we go, and we got some cheese. You gotta put lots of cheese, you know, that's what makes it good. Mmm, you gonna put some yellow cheese too? No yellow cheese, you don't like yellow cheese, right? Oh, that's for the barbecue sauce, okay. They're gonna get me in line. Right, and what is that? 
chicken. We're gonna have a chicken pepperoni pizza, barbecue chicken pizza. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, you're doing a super good job. Mm -mm -mm. You're gonna love this. And moms, it's really great because the kids are getting to do this themselves, all right? And I think we're ready to put her into the pan and see what we can come up with. Is it looking good to you, Caitlin? All right, now take it and just place it into the skillet. You want me to do that? All right, get your spatula. There's your spatula. Here she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Wow, is this going to be good? And so far, I haven't touched a thing except the cover. I'm holding the cover. Other than that, the girls have got this totally under control. And folks, in just about 10 minutes, without using the oven, we're going to have pizza for two that's going to knock your socks off. <laughs> we're going to enjoy it, aren't we, gals? Here we go. Pizza time. All right, now, folks, you want to see something out of this world delicious. You know, growing old is inevitable. Growing up is a choice, and I have chosen not to grow up. It's absolutely no fun. That grown-ups are kind of boring sometimes. They don't forgive. But you know what, Grandma? You don't care if she's tall, short, smart, dumb, rich, poor. You love her unconditionally, and that's what this is all about. Are you guys ready to get into some of your pizza? Let me move that night. I tell you what, these gals have done a fabulous job made pizza in just such a quick time. They've done such a good job. We sure appreciate you. And you know what? If the doctor said you weren't going to make it through the night, how late would you stay up? I think we ought to stay up late. Let's spoil them. Cook for life with Kitchen Craft. Thanks a whole bunch. Come on, kids. Get into it. It's your turn. What's that, Dr. Feel Good? Yeah, that's some good advice. What? Oh, hi, you guys. I was just getting some advice from Dr. Feel Good here. He even talks to me through my computer. He is such a good, uh, a good person to speak to with. You know, whenever you have any problems, we always go to him, and you can too. You can download this wallpaper on our website. Just go to the fan mail, and um, you can see how detailed I'm making him. He's holding a blender, which uh, symbolizes the new blend of advice which he's giving. You know, you see advice coming from all different walks of life now, and um, Dr. Feelgood is no different. He's cutting edge, and um, he really helps people out. And um, if you want any further wallpapers, anybody you see here at the office, we can do that. I can custom make it for you. If you, if you want a custom mic, you know, I can do that for you too. Um, go ahead and send us that fan mail and we'll go ahead and get it out to you. Um, and uh, you guys go ahead, have a good weekend, and we'll see you later.